So many things happened last episode. What were the most important things? Urek Majino, Gigachad, looks beyond the tower when everyone wants to stay within the tower. My man has his own separate building, butler, everything. I don't know. I want to know more about him, but obviously he's like a super important late game character. So maybe we won't get as much as I wanted. But I think that he, people said that he used like 0.01% of his actual power when fighting Viol. I believe it. It's just that the enemy never told us, right? But still so powerful. I think he realizes that Viol is worth i don't know I, i'm not sure if he even realizes that veal is an irregular but it looks like he's going around collecting powerful people or friends that can be allies to you know fly freedom beyond the tower i'm not really sure what they're all about but really cool character um other than that there was karaka with another ring the ring of zahai we finally saw the opening and during the analysis the visual showed two rings one of them actually has the eyes of Zahad, which Wang Nan has. The other was conveniently positioned in a way where maybe the eyes of Zahad is pointing the other way and we can't see it, but it seems like just a regular red ring and Karaka did have one of those, so it's just like... Zahad Prince? Who really knows what's going on there? They also refer to the prince as like, the Prince of the Red Light District, which is such an interesting name because if you really think about it, what is a red light district? That's where you get the hose. But you're a prince of the hose? What the fuck does that really mean? Maybe because Zahad goes around picking up women as his fancy brand name shoes in the form of princesses that he's a pimp? Does that make sense? I don't know where I'm going. Let's begin today's reaction. Is this the right file? This is Tower God. Emily. O okay. Workshop mentioned. Chat robot. Chat robot. Is it ChatGPT right now? You got a chatbot? <laughs> okay. Hey, Emily. I'm bored. <laughs> I'm lonely. Talk to me. Emily, are you single? Emily, why do I exist? Emily, please. Letero. Oh, shit! Letero Kwan! I just realized. I'm like, who the fuck are these characters? Remember, they're going on their own separate missions to, like, I don't know, discover the truth of what's going on, right? Oh, shit! Emily, you can talk to me about anything. Letero says, where is War Hak Song? In the forest on the 77th floor. What floor did Yuri say to go? What, what, what floor in season one when Yuri Zahad showed up to save us at the end? 77th? Uh, War Hak Song means Wing Tree. War Hak Song. That's a Korean name too, 77. The tree, is that literally representing his tattoo in the back? Like, you know how the wing tree it looks like branches, right? 77th floor. So, Warhawk Song must be like Urek Majino's faction then, right? Like, whatever group has team name, that must be them. Warhawk Song? Okay. I think he just stayed in the room. The fuck? This thing is just OP. It just answers everything. An AI is becoming sentient and asking, what is love? Most dialogue music has gone. And Dorsey! <laughs> and Dorsey's profile picture, bro. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's fucked up, bro. Yeah, because it's feeding into this, you know... It's the, you're feeding more input into this, you know, fucking uh, chatbot. The ChatGPT literally is just, just so much volume of information across the internet fed into the model to try to fucking figure out the answers. What does he say? I guess it's still too complicated for you. So you're a master of love. This is just most basic of basics. Anyways, what's going to be fashion next season? Where is Bomb? She should ask Emily right now. Is Bomb alive? Red dresses? She's wearing a red shirt. You. Lonely girls who want to be in love. <laughs> oh, a little bit too true to the heart, I fear. Emily stronger than Endor C confirmed. <laughs> Someday I hope to experience a beautiful like a okay. Anytime there's like sci-fi shit with like AI chatbots 
AI NPCs that, that are like not humans, but are just like digital fucking souls and they try to yearn for love. It's always so scary. It's, it always has that theme, right? In like sci science fiction, it's always like, you know, these like AIs, these different things that are not actual humans. They want to learn what it to be. What does it mean to be a human? What does it mean to love? It's always so scary. Okay, we got a chatbot system. That's cool. Emily. Emily? Emily. Like, where the fuck did Emily come from? It's like, as soon as like last episode, Emily never existed. No one knew about this chatbot. This episode, everybody in the tower uses it. Good luck, handsome. Okay. We're just gonna listen? We're just gonna trick. How would Emily know? Also, who created Emily exactly? Well, Emily is created from the Acorn Workshop, right? The workshop was mentioned last episode. There's multiple workshop and the workshop tournament arc or something is going to happen later. They hinted that, but we don't know who the creator in the workshop is, but it's created from the Acorn workshop. Basically the wrong answer there. Emily. I think that whatever this Emily is, is a lot darker and fucked up than we think. The whole background music there, it looks like this is some sort of factory where Emily is made. You see the bell there, you see the name Emily. Uh, something fucked up is happening here. Whatever this Emily thing is, it's bad. Okay. What are we doing? We're an exam? It's a chicken. Keys, unlock treasure chest. Easy. New test? Emily, where's the key? Yeah, we never did that, like, literally last episode. Come on now. A couple of years ago, my ass. Literally last episode. Ain't nobody got Emily. Now everyone got Emily. Um, box? What's box? Lighthouse bearer share information. Box. Lighthouse bearer shares information. Is it basically Reddit? Is this a time skip? Oh! It's actually been a two year time skip. I thought that they were mentioning like two years relative to like this current timeline, which is a day after last episode, but no, 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 no. It's been two years. That makes sense. Got it. So this is basically. Box is what? Like Reddit? Different forums or some shit? Emily, who the fuck are these guys? New characters? More new characters? Enemy team? <laughs> okay, that guy's an actual monkey. <laughs> That's a tail. It's, it's literally inspired by Wukong shit, is it not? <laughs> Run, me! <laughs> That's a bad look. Because like Misen looks like an elementary school kid too, and she has like that backpack for like kindergartners too. Oh no, we got a predator. No! Oh, Psych? Misen can do that. Okay. Why is the most fan service this guy? His ass is bigger than the girl next to him. That's crazy. He's so big. They all got baited here. Above. Let's go, Misang. Go sang in the lighthouse. Young. Fire. Let's go, teamwork. Wow. Misang was useful. Go sang was useful. Young girl. Dude, the two year time gap. Shit, the synergy, man. Two separate tests happening right now, right? Two separate tests are happening at the same time right now, Blue Turtles team. Oh, remember the chicken chef? Novik is number two in their team. The other blue hair kid is super strong, right? They can dig underground. They got a mole. Asking Emily what to do. Yeah, Ran is the strongest. Wait, Ran, what's going on, bro? We're getting baited. We're getting baited. He was fucking around with Emily. 
Mole, mole, the underground guy. Literal mole. Dig trio. Okay. It's an actual mole. Go through the nail salon. Very cute. What? Was Emily? But how would Emily know? How would Emily understand the test? What's happening? Is Emily all knowing? Is there like sensors and visual cues across all the tower being fed into Emily? And that's how you're able to give the answer? Was that just luck? Or chatbot? That's so. I like Dan. Dan is... I don't know. The, the, his whole, like, demeanor. He seems kind of aloof and not really the strongest. Ordering around around who's the strongest. I don't know. He's kind of funny. Hmm? The big blade. Bald! Okay, first it was Dig Trio. Now we have Machamp. <laughs> so cocky. Cheeky ass voice acting. <laughs> Thank you, Ran. You got a boss. <laughs> Yasuke. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up, you ain't even doing anything. You're just yapping behind him. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> Kinda sus. The way he like thrusted his body outwards like that. He looked like he's nutting. Ran OP. He's dead? Yaskill's actually dead? Okay. Why are you laughing? Another mole? Okay. He's way too cocky. Done. Done's fast as fuck. This mole is so cute. Yeah, he's fast as fuck. Yo! The respect and the confidence that Ran has in Dan's legs is pretty cool. Pretty fast as fuck! Easy! Let's go, Dan! You're done, bro. You're cooked. You talked all that shit. Oh, we're being reprimanded for going off script? And we asked the Millie for help, so we're getting in trouble? This is what happens when you use ChatGPT at work. You got a white collar job, you try to use ChatGPT, and you get in trouble because the fucking answers are fucking wrong. It seems very useful. Where is Bomb? Straight up, ask. Where is Bomb? Is he alive? Did Rachel actually kill Bomb? Something, ask it. Oh, how does it know so much? I would have, then I would have died, but we won, so don't worry about it. Blue Turtle's correct, but I don't know, Emily seems useful. Maybe. Ron is very competent. It won't be a next time. Gonna kill me? Now Blue Turtle gonna use Emily. Yo, ask. Ask about Bomb. Is he dead? <sighs> what the fuck is this? Did she get an upgrade? Her wheelchair! Got an upgrade! It's fucking floating now! God damn. There is no justice in this world, bro. She getting a ride pimped the fuck out. Come on, man. Did you hear the soundtrack, though? As soon as Rachel showed up, there was this, like, soft, whispering uh, voice. And it sounds kind of really fucking evil. Mm. Listen, listen. The soundtrack is creepy. You know what we should do? Emily. 
Is Rachel actually crippled? Can Rachel walk? Did Rachel kill Bomb? Ask Emily. Except Rachel. That's right, you suck, Rachel. Glaze! <laughs> you can run so fast, Dan son. Me, I can't walk. Oh, I got this wheelchair. Shut the fuck up, bitch. I've seen you stand up. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Whenever you can't see her eyes and it's shaded like this, bro, it's never good. <laughs> she said, if only I had your legs. If only you could be my legs. I ain't fucking running for you, bitch. <laughs> Gaslighting on top of that. The whole Rachel soundtrack there, though, really set the mood and the tone of what kind of character she is. That was a fantastic soundtrack. <laughs> what is this goofy -ass soundtrack now for Wang Nan? <laughs> What the fuck is this red hair kid? Where did Mr. Chicken Man go? Right, key to open the chest, right? Did he steal Misang's backpack or that is his own backpack? It's his own backpack. Why would she yell, you idiot? Now's my chance. I'm gonna run really quickly and hope he doesn't notice me. <laughs> Negative IQ. I know he's not the smartest, but holy shit, that was stupid. <laughs> Oh, he's calling him Chirpy. I thought Pio-chan was literally, we have a duck, you know? But like his hair kind of does make him look like a duck. I don't know, a bird chicken with blonde hair? He's Pio-chan. <laughs> what? <laughs> you get this guy's insane. Quetro is absolutely bonkers right now. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, no, you're in your own head. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's insane! That's right! Gaslight him! Pio chan exists! We have a chicken! Show him he's Pio chan! It's gonna work! Never mind, he's literally using himself as Pio chan. What is happening right now? Like, they're schizo, they're delusional. We're gaslighting him into thinking that your childhood friend isn't dead, it's me all along. The role playing going crazy right now. Was he really? <gasps> you might be right. Come back to me. <laughs> Why English at the end? He's <laughs> just English at the end for no reason. Come back to me. Nice. Soda. <laughs> So you got mad at us for no reason. You were the one that killed Pio chan. Pio chan! This guy's insane. Crazy. Run? No, no way. Deal! Giga Viol. <laughs> The rumor. This is weird. What the fuck kind of animation is this right now? Oh! Bongs mentioned! This is the mechanic that I think we heard about in the cut content. We were watching for extra TOG cut content. And like a bong basically is like if you want to use one Shinsu attack, it's like one bong. So it means like you have three separate things. You do three separate attacks at the same time. And it's like to even control more than one is supposed to be extremely difficult. 
なんならもう一回見せてやるよ No! <笑> okay, I thought he was gonna get naked. I thought he was about to strip his shirt or something. Yeah, cool. Three bungs. How many bungs does Veal have? He would drop 30 on his ass right now. Five! Five! He liked that. Poitro <laughs> is just. What an insane character. Right? Probably never gonna see him again after this. All, it's almost a Yamcha. But, like, this character is just batshit crazy, gaslit us about his fucking childhood pet. But he killed a fucking childhood pet. He all over the place. What an insane character. No way. Yeah, you're that strong? You're talking shit. Show him up right now. I mean, this is just a huge ego check right now. There's no reason for us to do it, but I kind of want to do it. I, I want to see it. I want to see it. What? We fought Mazino last episode, motherfucker. Kind of impressive. Quatro is just getting up from that and just walking away after that attack, but we're a coward. We only pick on weak people? During the two-year gap, did some shit happen? For sure, right? We won. There was no need to fight. It's just an ego check, but I still want to do it. <laughs> ramen Maru. <laughs> Team Ramen Maru wins. Ramen, you know, Maru. I, I swear to God, there's like an actual ramen place near me called Ramen Maru. We should be sweet and sour pork. What happened to that? What is it? Ramen? Legendary food. <laughs> Cuttlefish chips. They're actually really tasty if you've ever any had any, but like, it's just potato chips, bro. What's the fucking prize? Aww. Oh. 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 A little bit of AK daddy, you know, and stepdaughter me same kind of deal going on. That's very cute. They bonded after those two years, huh? <laughs> what about Horyang and, you know, Koseng? I wonder if their relationship has developed at all during those two years. Quatro and Chang? Okay. Yeah, what floor are we on right now? Workshop. <laughs> AK, why would you say this? AK, please. Please. We need to go meet with the OG crew so that we can meet all the people we know. What are you talking about, AK? <laughs> no! <laughs> Prince is still here. We're not at the 30th floor yet. But that's where the workshop battle is, right? Yeah. And Emily is there too, I think. Next big arc, a workshop battle arc. What's that look, Horiang? He didn't look too happy there. Are you grateful, bitch? Handsome. Uh, I'm currently looking for enemies during a test. Good luck, handsome. What do you think they're left for that? This is Don's answer so far, right? So, damn. Emily has a built-in fucking function to, like, message you if you haven't messaged back in a while. Hey, handsome. How you feeling today? Is he alive? Oh, bomb! Oh! How does Emily know? How, how, how does Emily know? How do you just know fucking everything, Emily? Even Blue Turtle is gonna take this at face value? Like, he was so, you know, suspicious of it, but he's like, shocked at this. I thought Blue Turtle would be like, hmm, cat, but Bomb is a very important character to him, so maybe Blue Turtle is willing to believe it. Hello, Emily. Hello, Traveler. I just registered to go to the next floor. I'll get to see you soon. I... It's not... AI chat 
but it's a huge conspiracy conspiracy oh shit oh oh it's a girl named Emily, maybe, that got plugged into this and is being fed all type of data throughout the tower, and that's why she has the end. Fucked. This is fucked. Who's a traveler? Who is this guy? I love you. <laughs> So this guy is literally obsessed with Emily, this orange haired dude with the glasses. He's saying, I love you. Emily wants to know what love is. <laughs> but you are a human. I also want to know love. So creepy. There's like two separate Emilys. The one that's shrieking out right now, rejecting what she is supposed to be, and then the other one saying, I want to know what love is, too. What the fuck? Yo, TOG just got so dark. All right, let's see what the newest webtoon slide is. The most figured one is just literally just Quatro. Yeah, it's just Wang Nara and Quatro. I thought they would show some a bit of Emily, but that's the episode. It started off kind of weird because everyone just has a chatbot. It's been two year time gap that I was not aware of. Apparently, they mentioned it last episode. I was not aware of that. Uh, they're just doing tests and shit. What's important? Uh, Rachel's being sussed to Don. Rachel says, I want your legs. And then uh, there's a bunch of dumb shit going on with Quatro and Chang. Apparently, Chang is like one of the strongest E rankers ever. Yeah, there was a bit of an ego check at the end. We didn't have to fight, but I kind of wanted to show him up. The fight animation is mediocre as usual, but I mean, what do you expect? You've already seen enough Tiger Season 2 to figure that out, right? But the story of Emily right now in the Acorn Workshop, this chatbot that seems to want to know what love is, a human bound to this that is responsible for Emily. Shut up, you're not human. I don't know if this is, you'll never be a human. I don't know if this is like the programmed Emily trying to convince the real Emily inside that you can never be a human and, you know, experience love. And this guy, this traveler who's apparently helped, uh, Emily has helped the traveler so much and this traveler has suspicions that like, he knows that this is a human, so... The plot is getting very weird and, and interesting. I, I really like this futuristic sci-fi way of like a human plugged up as like a, a in a pod and is acting as like an AI chatbot. Shit's fucked up. This is getting twisted and everything points towards the workshop. And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.